Hey buddies, welcome to Video Games Awesome Live! This is Red Dead Redemption 2 release night here in Tokyo at midnight. We're playing it about 11 hours before we would have been able to if we were still on the west coast of North America. Suckers. Big Sorry. thanks to you, Ske, for helping us get this set up with a Japanese credit card. And a huge thank you huge. to King Cartoon who is sponsoring the entire episode as a $500 donor, and he wants to let all you turbos know that he loves you, just sending out some love and some good vibes, and he want, he loves hanging out with you guys and wants to meet more of you. Yeah. And he loves the time he spent with you down in San Antonio. And we this love says him. ready to use. <laughs> please, 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 please don't fuck up. can't do this to me. Wait a second, what's this? Waiting to install, waiting to install, waiting to install. Ready to use. I'm gonna shut down the, I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> that happens sometimes. It happens, restart the shut, all right, here we go. <laughs> so the reason that we're nervous is because there was a lot of process gone into making, like I just created a Japanese account today so that I could unlock this early because I didn't know it was even possible. And I have bought two copies of the game to this point um, because I didn't know. Mm. And it was worth it to me to buy it again for the off chance or for the chance to play it early uh, and share it with you guys. But um, so there's a little bit like, I mean, I, I've only I've never done this before. It's our to, first time. I had to go track down like Combini gift cards at convenience stores around here just so that because I don't have a card, credit card in that, Japan. that works in Japan. Come on, please fucking work though. Good lord. After all this work, here we go, mm. booting in to my Japanese PlayStation 4. <laughs> all right. Starting. Installing add-ons. That's good. Oh my That's god! Yeah! <laughs> Thank god! Oh <laughs> my god. I wasn't even worried. Uh. I'm sweating so hard. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, oh. Mm. You can feel the tension. We did it. We oh did it, guys. Oh my fucking god. Boggity plug. <gasps> Red Dead Redemption fucking 2. Oh god. <clears throat> <sighs> I literally just have goosebumps. <laughs> 2005? Oh, for Rockstar. It's been a long time coming. I feel like it's been a long time since I've anticipated a game this fucking much. Yeah. We'll put them on. Thank you for asking. We'll put them on um, TV speakers. All right. I want social club or story. Story. <clears throat> that's a nice horse. I suppose this is just their loading screens. Oh, that's interesting. They're using those. What do they call those? Those uh, that form of printing. Those old plates that they used yeah. to have. Lithograph or something? <sighs> the game has been overwhelmingly positively received by critics so far, is what my chat has been telling me. Not that I give a shit about what the critics say. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Live by Kratos motto. Mm. By 1899, the age of outlaws and gunslingers was at an end. America was becoming a land of laws. Even the West had mostly been tamed. A few 
gangs still roam, but they were being hunted down and destroyed. Here's this awesome Photoshop up out there that somebody redid the, the game cover to say rootin' tootin' cowboy shootin' too. <laughs> in the same font. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Mm. So, as I said um, uh, before on the intros to this, we're gonna try to be story light today. We're gonna get as m we're gonna get what done what we need to get done to start playing the game. But like, we're gonna try to make it so that we're not ruining it for people who are waiting for their copy to unlock. Right. <clears throat> Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay, Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh, if we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. It's weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. <coughs> Is Arthur, that any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy Rex, buddy. You know. An old man in town. Man, it ain't far. Come on. Come on! Isn't Abigail Marston's girl? No, uh, yes. Who said Abigail? They said Abigail, like, she's she was giving them updates on the guy who's sick. Oh. She's tending to a guy. Based on the blizzard in 1899. Colton. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we going to do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're going to stay here, and you were going to get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're going to ride out, see if we can find one of them. Miss? Just for a short bit. I don't see what other choice we have. <clears throat> listen. Listen to me, all you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They might be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground in their stead, I'd do it gladly. But we are going to ride out and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. Very different Dutch. All right. We've got some work to do. Good delegating. So, 
They both must have headed down the hill. Oh. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. Them. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. So this is post boat. Hey. So the shit's already gone Florida. down. Hey, Mr. Smith. Get yourself indoors. We need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Ah. We need you strong. Okay. Shadow quality's Come good. Come on, let's go. Hey, Real good. Know what we're gonna find out here, Dutch? We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Well, it has to blow over soon. Oh God, winter. Dutch, I found the mini map easy. It's it's down here. I got uh, 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 okay. Right next to me, son. Don't want to lose you. That's a nice horse. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. In a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got a fire and shelter. That's a start. Oh! Oh! And what about the money? Please tell me you at least got the money before it all went to hell on that boat. We did. It's stashed with the rest of the money in town. It'll be safe for now. But we sure can't go back there to collect it anytime soon. Wait, is that someone coming towards us? You up ahead. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. It sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> I don't How's like this guy. Well, you didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davey was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. Yeah, we guess because there was uh, dialogue choices. Yeah. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Huh. Oh, Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere too. Move up, Arthur. I'll cover the rear. That is actually a really nice horse you're riding, though. You run into anybody else? I, I reckon we're the only ones crazy enough to be out in this, Morgan. Yeah, well. Don't talk to me about crazy. Oh, so no, I'm glad you're all right. I was worried, Micah. Look, it's all going to work out, Morgan. We lost a few folks, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Well, I'm glad you're feeling so good about it. Where are all the others? Old mining camp, back up the hill. They must shelter. So, this house, you speak to the people there already? No, like Dutch told us, look, but don't talk to no one. Just following orders, 
You know me. Right. How much further? Not far. What does that mean? Not far. Uh, thanks. The dialogue's so good so far. Oh, goddamn, the snow gets right to the bone. Let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. This okay. don't feel right. Let's head down there. Yeah, I don't I don't like Micah. No. Oh my god, that snow is Gorgeous. Yeah, this scene really pops. Yeah. Got a little heart icon popping up down there. I'm not sure what it is. The outer bar shows your remaining health. The level of the inner core influences how quickly your health refills. Let's hitch up here. Approach the hitching post. It's kind of cool, the heat, sort of heat map. Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. This thing, I don't, this thing gonna be good. Sounds this like quite the party. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. Micah, hide behind that way. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of you. just assume L2 is aim and R2 shoots. Yeah, and then it did eventually show you. Did it say it? Yeah. Finally? It's just protect Arthur. But it felt like... How? With love? <laughs> Alright. Oh! This is what I was supposed to do anyways. Excuse me! I was supposed to go in here. Hello! Ah. Hello, friend! This is a better view. I am very yeah, sorry is. to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some... Trouble up the way, lost in yeah. the storm. Now this is an uh, intro. Gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Arthur, we got a problem. Oh, you can see a hand from this angle. Oh, fuck, you can. There's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur, need some. There's a body in the back. I hear you. Just keep your eyes Shit! Look out, there's more in the back. Oh. A 
red thread indicator on the edge of the radar shows the direction of distant enemies. I'm, I'm cr crawling and I don't know how to get up. So there's music in this game. Yeah. It smells like a party in here. It's intense. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. I think it said a thing in the top left there. I didn't catch it. Oh, shit. Examine and photograph. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Oh, God. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh. Looks like the poor bastard was married, too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. Eh. Your health yeah. card drains over time. While negative. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Kay. Thanks. I'm reading. Uh, oh. Place is dry. Eat a provision to restore the health core. So the health core is basically like. Yeah, instead you of healing that. yourself as you go just by like taking potions, you just have to make your core good, which is like by basically giving yourself sustenance. Warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how that works when we get it back. I don't really want us to split up. I'm going to start catching the horses. You keep looking. Meet me out here when you're done. <laughs> Guess I'll have some sweet corn. How? How's my health core looking now? Can't. So different food have different effects? Is yeah, that what it better said? better quality food. Okay. Better quality food does better for you. I can't believe I'm examining things in a Red Dead game and like looking at them like this. And this game has first person view from the get go. Right. So what did he all say about these guys? Basically, uh, he was talking about the owner of this place, which isn't the guys we just killed. Oh, Driscoll's. Mm, yeah, so that's Driscoll not voice? what we were talking about though like the owner of the place is not O'Driscoll's mm. the guys who killed the owner are the O'Driscoll's okay the corpses outside are those two in that photograph Aww. they had prices on their heads the O'Driscoll's Or these guys? I don't think so. I think they're good, what the people that died. There, I'm getting your th shit, Dutch. Still looking, Dutch. <laughs> cool. He they was married at one point, but there was no wife in the cart, so I guess they were that's what they were chatting about. And Dutch was like, it doesn't matter. Mm. Yeah, look at the scratches on the hat. God, the detail. Grab like 500 blankets, guys. So, like, 
Rockstar gave such little information about this game going in that, like, everything's a mystery. Whether dialogue choices in this game matter or not yeah. is going to be have to be discovered. So riding the horse, there were two options for things that you could have done, right? Yeah. Or said? Yeah. And you only got to choose one? Yeah. Oh, salted beef. Okay, pressing L3 is what makes me uh, duck and get up. So right now it just says blood simply in the bottom right. You guys can't see it, but it just says blood. Mm -hmm. So it's just like indicating that you, what you're currently over top or... What's taking so long in there? Just give me a minute. <laughs> I don't want to miss anything, Dutch. You know Search how video games go. Gotta get my platinum trophy, Dutch. Ooh, one dollar and fifty six cents. All right, I think I got everything. I hope. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur. Go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin. See what we missed. Sure. Is this a barn? Sorry, Dutch. Was that our, like, wanted meter at the mm, bottom? I'm not sure. It might have been the radar. Mm. Or maybe it was. I don't know. Oh, fuck. What's going on? they're doing here and where Colm is. Oh, this son of a bitch would talk. Where's Colm, Montrisco? We have the others at an old mining camp southwest of here, near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? We're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. No, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. You can choke, spare, or beat him. Please. Please, spare me. I promise. Pick up your hat. Where my hat? Oh, it's got it's even on the <laughs> Oh wow. It's on the radar. <laughs> So I think that's what people mean when you can, um, like, talk to people to get information. Like he just said it, that they're southwest and this has a compass. That's a nice horse. Aww, horse bonding achieved. You're doing it. He is a nice horse. Continue to bomb with your horse. What about my other horse? We won't forget about him. He's dealt with. <laughs> Good. That looks like 
It's a decent horse. No one bolting. Like Micah. Are you okay, Miss? They, oh, three days ago, they bought this thing. They, they, they. Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And can't stay here. Because we just set it on fire. You come with us. Of course. Yes, it's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. Nice What's your name, Miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He. He was my husband. Scum, they beat us to it. Uh, we found some of them there. But there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food. And this poor soul, Mrs. Adler. Oh, she's, Miss Tilly, Miss Tilly. She Karen, was a bear. Warm her up, <laughs> give her a drink of something. <laughs> And Mrs. Adler, yep. yeah, get her a okay. drink. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. Dutch is a good guy get at this point. Miss O'Shea, I'll show you the way. Ish. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? How come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. <laughs> Bill Williamson. So whatever went down on the boat didn't change everything, at least not in the short term. I thought that was like would be the penultimate moment in this game. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong, and he's smart. Strong, at least. Alright. That's the first intro bit. We're gonna continue in a moment. We have no choice but to continue this story. Right. But uh, we're, we'll be getting through the, the um, prologue. You might... I don't know. Fuck it. We'll be right back. Stay tuned, guys. Ah! Frozen in time. There we go. <laughs> 